Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm showing you step by step how to make these very very cute clay trinket dishes. Clay DIYs have been a bit of a trend recently, especially over on TikTok and I've been loving the trend and I thought I'd finally hop onto it. A few of you have actually asked me to make a tutorial on clay rings uh, but I'm not really sure if like the trend has passed if I'm too late but yeah do let me know if you'd like to see that video and I'll be sure to make it very soon I don't think I have anything else to say for this intro so we might as well just get started the first design I'm going to show you is actually a monstera leaf and I wanted to create a sort of like stencil for myself so I downloaded a picture from Pinterest and traced over it I used some baking paper um, and I traced over it with a marker pen. Then you need to get your clay and you need to warm it up a bit um, and play around with it. Get a rolling pin, roll it out. For the first trinket dish, I use that stencil and I'm using this um, tool to trace over the drawing that I did earlier. Um, I think you could do this with a pencil, I don't even think you need a tool, I just had it in my craft box so I thought why not use it. And then because I don't have any other tools I used a knife to cut out the design that I traced. Make sure to cut all the bits out um, and then a pro tip for you is to smooth out the edges with some water and um, you might notice throughout the video as well I did that in general um, just wherever my designs weren't smooth um, and then to give it a bowl like curve shape I put it into a bowl um, and let it dry like that for a bit. The second design is a sunny side up egg and this wasn't my intention. If you know me in real life, you know that I have an issue against eggs. They just freak me out. It's, they're weird. Um, but I cut out a random shape and I made um, like a little wall for it. And then I realized that, hang on, wait a minute, that actually looks like an egg. I just need a yolk and it works. Um, so that's what I did. I went ahead with it and I'm actually glad I did because I think it's it turned out pretty well. So you want to make your base um, and make a wall for it. I did this by rolling out um, an extra bit of clay and then for the yolk I made a ball out of clay and then sort of flattened it out. I made these um, like cuts in the clay to make it stick better and then um, use the knife to smooth down the edges and attach the yolk to the rest of the like egg. Next, the third design is literally just a round dish. I somehow don't have the footage of it but I also made a frog on a lily pad. You need to let your clay dishes dry. I put them in the oven to speed up the process but I still ended up waiting a whole day afterwards because they weren't completely dry once I got them out the oven. Uh. 
This is an optional step, I only did it for the Monstera leaf one, but I used a nail file to smooth out the edges, um, just because they were a bit rough and I wanted it to look smoother. And finally, it's time to paint. Probably my favourite part. Um, so for the Monstera leaf, I mixed a medium green with a dark green colour um, to get this shade and I'm really happy with the shade that I got in the end um, and I made sure to paint all the edges because otherwise I feel like it looks a bit tacky and I also painted the underside. Then for the frog, um, I managed to get the footage for this one. Um, so as you can see, I painted the lily pad and originally the frog was attached to the lily pad. But then I picked it up and it broke. Um, so I ended up painting them separately, which I think was good because it was way more convenient this, this way. And I can just glue it down if I want it attached, but at the moment it, I didn't glue it back together basically. Um, and the frog was really easy to make, I didn't get the footage for it but I just made a ball and then two small balls to um, make the eyes and I didn't want to paint it green because I didn't want a basic frog and also um, the lily pad was green and the monstera leaf was obviously green so I wanted some colour so I mixed some yellow ochre with some red to get a sort of peachy colour and then I mixed yellow ochre with some white um, and as you can see I put on the eyes and I just realised I didn't do the eyes white, I did them yellow um, but I think I prefer it like that and I thought he needed a smile so I gave him a smile. For the egg, um, all I did was I mixed some yellow ochre with some red again um, to make a deeper egg yolk colour and then I painted the rest of the dish white. For the round dish, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, so I painted it um, with the yellow ochre paint and then I did some splashes on it. Um, so to do this, you're gonna need paint and a lot of water on your brush and then you just sort of tap your paintbrush um, and you'll get like the splash effect on your dish. I feel like this was a, I, I was really happy with how it turned out, it turned out better than I expected and I used purple, green and black um, and I also went in with some white later. Finally, you're going to want to gloss um, your dishes, I guess this is optional but I wanted to do it and I'm going to be honest, I didn't have any gloss so I used um, fabric medium and it had the same effect. So I was really happy with that. Um, some glue would work, Mod Podge would work, all that stuff. Even nail polish would work. Um, I thought of using clear nail polish, but I then decided that my designs were too big to do that.
I believe that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching and I hope that you feel a bit inspired or you have a clearer idea of how to make these dishes now. If you make them feel free to send me photos on Instagram or tag me on like stories and stuff. I'd love to see your recreations. As I said at the start of this video, if you would like to see a video on clay rings then definitely let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to make the video. Also, if you have any specific requests for things you'd like me to make or videos you would like to see on my channel in the future, please do let me know. Thank you so much for watching and sticking all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you hopefully in my next video very, very soon. Bye.